let's talk about Keith Lemon because this is the uh, the movie with a lot of the bus posters. <laughs> yeah, you're saying that slightly cynically, Simon. Well, you know, only in as much as movies that are advertised on the sides of buses aren't necessarily the finest product. Yes, more advertising and less critics reviewing it. Yeah. I think that was their idea. Um, so, of course, this takes the character, the Lee Francis character, hugely popular on um, ITV2, isn't it, that he's on, um, and gives him the storyline. So the storyline is basically Keith goes from Leeds, where he's from, to London to make his fortune. And he does that by bringing out a new mobile phone called the lemon phone uh, and along the way he he meets up with kelly brook who he's always completely uh, fantasized about gets her as a girlfriend and you know it's very silly and that's that's obvious we knew it was going to be very silly and silliness i don't have a problem with silliness is great we love silly movies a year ago the inbetweeners was doing huge business another of course tv um, show that was transported to the big screen and worked and was silly and was really funny i think the key thing is with with the keith lemon film is that even silly comedies and filthy comedies need some need to have some kind of point, right? The jokes need to have some kind of foundation to them because if you don't have that, you just end up with a film like those those awful spoofs like Meet the Spartans and Epic Movie and things where stuff just happens and that's meant to be funny in itself. That's the problem, I think, with the Keith Lemon film. Just getting stuck into Keith <laughs> Lemon, the film. Yeah. Matt, Matt Boyle uh, on this saying it will be interesting to see how a more in touch a, <laughs> a younger reviewer considers keith lemon as i imagine the doc would have done that thing of not prejudging it but really making a judgment beforehand like all will ferrell and judd apapapatatow films can't say i expect it to be great but you never know so as wow. someone who is clearly younger and more in touch thanks but you're probably what how old how old are you now 34 I'm 37, actually. There you go. Yeah. Well, but frankly, I, that's a lot more in touch than Mark and I. You know, even if I was 15, though, I, I don't think that being young is an excuse for sort of having a, a badly made film imposed upon you. I mean, th th a lot of people say when it's a, a, a kid's film and it's not very good and critics go, well, it's not very well made. They go, well, it's a kid's film, it doesn't matter. But I think everybody should be entitled to see really well-made good films. And that doesn't mean they can't be stupid and silly, but it just means that perhaps they should have a little bit more to them and be a little bit better constructed. And that's really the problem I have with Keith Lemon. Obviously, you know, it's there to be stupid. That's not the problem. I think the problem is it's just made so lazily and without any sort of panache to it, any without any real passion, actually, for movie making and love of filmmaking. You don't really get that across um, on the screen. I suppose the plus side is, I'm sure we probably said the same thing when um, Ali G in the House came out, which, of course, was Sasha Baron Cohen's you know, first film, again, based on a very popular TV character. And he made the film and people just thought, well, he's probably better than this. And I think Lee Francis actually is better than this. And what Sasha Baron Cohen did was go to America and, and, and work with Larry Charles and, and make some kind of much more edgy films and much more exciting movies. And I hope, actually, that Lee Francis could do the same because he has the talent, but perhaps there just needs to be... Um, a bit more care and attention paid. What's it about? Well, it's about him going to London. I mean, there's sort of a theme. You know, I was saying it's pointless, but there's sort of a point about the difference between the North and London. But, I mean, it's very weak. It's never really explored. Uh, so it's target audience... Well, I guess the target audience are going to be the people who watch Celebrity Juice on the telly, which is a big audience. That's a very popular show. But it was interesting. At the screening I went to... Um, the first half an hour or so got some laughs. I'm not going to deny that. But after that, people seem to tire a little bit. We're used to Keith Lemon in 25-minute, half-an-hour chunks. But after that, perhaps it could be a little bit too much. Uh, I had uh, Ronan Keating on uh, the radio. Yeah, TV he's show. in it. Yeah, and and he was all and he was going to the premiere, and he was all very excited because he had his. We did actually use the phrase he had a small part in Keith Lemon, but you know it was that was. The, but he 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 does what yeah. in it? Well, there's a load of cameos. I mean, a huge amount of cameos. So Lee's obviously got some good mates, and they're quite big names. But a, a lot of them they don't really do anything with them. And this is going back to when I mentioned uh, Meet the Spartans, those kind of movies which used to just have a lot of lookalikes turn up, and that was meant to be a joke in itself. In this, they're not lookalikes; they're real celebrities. But you know, having Denise Van Outen turn up in itself is not hilarious you kind of need to do something with that and they don't really do anything with that and to be honest if i've seen one david hasselhoff cameo i've seen a hundred enough of the david hasselhoff jokes now uh, it's a, it's an interesting comparison that you're making with allergy in the house because yeah. obviously 
Sasha Baron Cohen has gone on to make some very good films, but I th- in general, Ali G in the House was not considered no, a it, good film. People knew that he was better than that, uh, and and I think actually that that Lee could do better than this. I think that's the point, and I think that if if actually he maybe teams up with a writer or, or kind of really makes an effort to, to push things a lot more, because then when we saw Borat come out, we were like, wow, is this the same guy? He's really pushing things, uh, and I think he could do that, and I hope he does, to be honest, because he has he plays multiple characters in this movie. I mean, this is someone who can act, who can inhabit different characters.